Hello, I am Olivia, the owner of Profits and Books Bookkeeping Services and Online Marketing Services. How are you today? <coughs> Sorry. And thank you so much for being part of this Facebook Live. You can also find me on YouTube under the channel Profits and Books Bookkeeping Services with Olivia Sambo. So thank you so much for tuning in. Today I want to talk about the letter of final demand from SARS. You know, when you get a letter like that, first of all, it can spoil your entire day and it's very easy for your emotions to run away with you. But the first thing to do, so obviously it's not a good way to start your day. So the first thing to do is to calm down. I know, I know. When you get the letter, the last thing you feel is calm and rational. And your first instinct is to call the South African Revenue Services. Or you might think, you know, bugger them. I'm not even going to respond to this letter. But the first thing you must do is to get hold of SARS. The other thing that you must do is open your e-filing profile that you find on the e-filing website of SARS, where you as a business owner, as an individual, as a company, you can register for tax. When you have a registered company, and this is very important to realize, because in the past, you would register your company and then because it's not operational, you're not making a profit, you're not making money, but it is registered on the CIPC website. But the company is dormant. No money is coming in. You're not using your business. And you would think it's okay. You know what? I don't have to file tax returns for the company because I am not making money, right? I will only file tax returns when I start making money. Wrong. What is happening now with SARS? They go to the website of the CIPC and they check through that database to see who has regis registered companies. And SARS cannot see whether you are operational, whether you are making or not, whether you have profit, so basically, SARS cannot see whether you are withholding money from them that they feel must go to them. So then what do we do? You don't file tax returns. You don't fill in anything to do with, 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 with tax. You just leave the company as is. So now SARS, go to the database of the CIPC and they see your registered company and they check against their records that this company for the last four, five, six or seven years, you have not filed any tax returns. And what happens? The system generates a letter of final demand. And you get that letter with a very nice fat amount. The amount starts at a minimum of 250 Rand for each month that they count that you have not submitted your tax returns. What that means, say if your financial year end is the 31st of April or the 28th of February and your company has been registered maybe 2016 and you never used it so financial year end of 2016 then it they, it becomes clear that you haven't when they backtrack your records they pick up that you have never filed anything since 2016 so for each month after your financial year end of 2016 they then add at least 250 rand for each month that you have not filed your tax returns. 
So how then do you deal with that? When you get the final letter of demand, you go, especially for the companies who are dormant, especially if you haven't been operational, especially if you have not been making any money in your company. Then you go, you first start with your CIPC profile. You go on there and then you submit your, you, you update your details on there. Because even on CIPC website, remember, I think it's an amount of 200 rand or 100 and something that you need to pay to when you renew for the year. Because each year you need to pay an amount to CIPC. So you first go onto the CIPC website. You update your details there. Then it shows that you have submitted then your, your returns on there. That's for the CIPC. Then you have to go to SARS. And on the SARS website, the e-filing website, you also have to file your returns on there. If you have made no money, you just file zero, zero. And that will satisfy SARS that you have been filed your tax returns for those years that were outstanding. But of course, if you have been making a lot of money and you haven't filed your returns and SARS catches you out, then you will pay a penalty on top of that. Look, it's a painful thing to go through. It is unpleasant. But like I've said in other previous videos, you get taxed on your profits and not the full amount that you have made. And I also want to add a disclaimer. I am not a tax practitioner. I am a bookkeeper and I'm also talking in my personal capacity based on my experiences I've had with SARS. What SARS wants to know is how much you have made and how much you owe them. And if you don't file returns, they can't determine that. They don't know that. So they assume that you have been making a lot of money, chowing all the money and not paying them what they are due. Then there's the other scenario. So now you got the first letter of final demand for a company that you are not even using, actually for a company that you have forgotten about. And you get the final, the letter of, fi the, of final demand. It throws you off balance. So then, you go, you file your zero, zero uh, tax returns for all those outstanding years. Let me just say, it will depend on SARS, how they deal with it. Right? That's the one thing. Then, now you have filed your documents. And you're in the red, you can see once you filed your tax returns, it shows zero, zero. And then a few months later, you get another letter of final demand. And now you have to call SARS again and say, look, my tax returns are up to date. What is going on here? And normally, it's not a nice conversation to have. And this also depends on who you get on the other side of the line. You might be lucky and get someone who can go to the heart of your issue immediately. And you only need to make one phone call and you are sorted. Or you can be unlucky and get someone at the other end of the line who has no idea what they are talking about, who doesn't know how to resolve your issue. You keep on calling and look, this is time consuming because first you need to hold for quite a while. Then you need to fill in, first before you hold, you need to fill in your information. You need to have your, your, your tax number ready, your ID number ready, and sometimes the tax number of the company. So it's the tax number of the company, your own personal tax number, your ID number, and also the registration number or of the company. So those are the four important numbers that you must have ready when you call SARS.
for with any query or any problem that you might have. And also you will get a reference number. Make a note of the reference number they give, the date, the time, and the name of the person who is answering your call. This is important because then you then have a point of reference when you have to call again. So now when you have called and you don't get any joy, go again to your e-filing profile. You go, you log on and you check on returns issued. Then when you get returns issued, you click on the drop down menu on the right and there will be years of assessment. You click on each year. And what, why you must do that? When you click on the year of assessment, you will then get, um, say if it's 2021 or 2022, then you will get the documents that will come down and it will say the name of the form. It will also show filed on e-filing. It will show you the date, when it was filed, where it was filed. You click on the document. And when you click and the document opens and the amount at the top, it says zero, zero. You don't owe anything to SARS. And then what happens? That final letter of demand, it was generated automatically because it's easy to feel that SARS is having an agenda against you because you have called and they told you everything was fine. You have submitted, called, checked again, and it was fine. And then months later, you get a final letter of demand. Because remember, many of our systems, it's automated. The computer doesn't know you. The computer can only look at the data at hand and the computer, the system picks up, but you have not submitted tax returns, even though you have submitted it some few years, some few months ago. So the key things to take away from this video, even if your company is dormant, you have not operated, you haven't made a red cent, you've forgotten about it, it was just a nice to have, you must still submit tax returns. That is key number one. Number two, when you have submitted your returns, follow up with SARS to check, is everything in order? The returns, the follow-up phone call. When you call, remember to have the following information ready. This is now for your company tax returns. Make sure that you have your personal tax number, your ID number, the company tax number, and the company registration number. Have that information ready at hand before you make your call. And then when you go to the e-filing website, you can click on returns issued and it will show you the years of assessment. You click on that. The document will open and then you can see whether there are any amounts outstanding because this can be resolved. And the video for today is specifically for business owners who are not using their companies, whose companies are dormant, whose companies are not operating, whose companies are not making money, but it's registered on the CIPC. This video was specifically for you because we think that when the company is in dormant, ah, SARS would know that I didn't make any money. SARS wouldn't know. They don't know. They just see a company on the CIPC website that have not submitted tax returns. So please, please, to avoid getting that letter of final demand, go and submit your tax returns. And look, you haven't made any money. You haven't used 
the company. It's just there. Then put in your zero zero because the company is not operational. And SARS will ask you when you submit, it will ask, is this company dormant? Then you click yes because you haven't used the company. And when you click yes, it will gray out everything else. And then it becomes simple to submit your tax returns. But do that as soon as you can, as soon as possible. Because getting that final letter of demand, it sucks. Especially if you have a job, but you have a registered company, and you've never used your registered company. In fact, you've forgotten even that you have it. SARS did not forget. Sars did not forget. And look, I know. It's a very bitter pull when you get that letter. And you think that how many politicians are chowing money, but you don't hear about them having to answer to Sars. But Sars does not deal with sentiments. We might feel gold as South Africans when you have to pay tax. And you see how tax money is being abused, how it's being misused, how it's being stolen. And it seems as if no one is answering for it. SARS doesn't care about our sentiments. What it cares about is what you have on your documents and what you can prove to them and whether you have submitted to them. Because at the end of the day, it's you who have to answer. It's you who have to explain. It's your responsibility to submit these documents to SARS. And look, once you've done it, e-filing is a simple, straightforward platform to use. And if you get stuck, call SARS if you can't afford a tax advisor. Call SARS. There are times that you are so fortunate to get the most brilliant person on the other side who can answer all your tax questions, who can take you step by step through the process. So make the call, don't ignore that letter because once it has been resolved, it's like a weight is off your shoulders because you've done the right thing. So I hope that this video has answered some of your questions and remember, I will just say again, I am a bookkeeper. I am not a tax advisor. I'm making this video based on my personal interaction with SARS because I know what it feels like when you have submitted your tax returns and you still get that letter of final demand. It's not a good feeling. And your first, first response is defiance. And then you say, I'm not going to answer these people. But... It's still your responsibility. Answer, make the call, go on to e-filing and sort out these issues. I thank you so much for, for, for watching. Um, and remember, you, can, you will find this video as well on my YouTube channel under Profits and Books Bookkeeping. Thank you so much for listening. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. And please feel free to leave any comments on the links that will be available below.